Hey guys, it's Tim Sheets here for TechSpot and thanks to Lenovo, we're checking out their latest Ultrabook tablet convertible style product called the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. Now back in 2013, they first released this product with a third generation Intel Core processor inside, but with the launch of Broadwell and the fifth generation Core processors as well as Core M, we're seeing a product refresh released at the very end of 2014. Of course it's 2015 now, but I have got the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix 2014 with me here, including that 11.6 inch display on a tablet and a dockable keyboard. So we'll be checking out that very shortly. In fact, let's get straight to it right now. So this is the fairly unassuming Lenovo ThinkPad Helix box. It does come in a larger box on the outside that is padded, but as has been the case for the past couple of unboxings, it's been absolutely plastered with my address. So take a look inside here and go around the wrong way, but that's all right. Inside here, we find the, the tablet. This is of course gonna be the most interesting of the things because this is where all the processing power comes in. So we have got an 11.6 inch 1080p display on the front here. I believe it's got IPS technology and I think there's a little sticker indicating here that this is where the NFC chip is located. Along the bottom, we have all the docking connectors and ports and stuff, which will allow you to connect the tablet to the keyboard dock, but we'll see that shortly. Along the top here, we have got this panel outside of the, what feels like metal. It feels actually quite nice and quite a solid tablet with glass on the front. Bit larger bezels than I was expecting, but then again, I haven't exactly been looking at tablets too often, being occupied with things like the Alienware 13. We've got a touch button there. Along this side, we have got a number of ports and flaps. So we'll just bring that in focus for you guys. So we've got one flap here which reveals a couple of different ports. In fact, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's actually got a SIM port in there. So that we've got a SIM card slot there as well as a micro SD card slot. And I guess that allows you to put in some stuff for 4G connectivity right there, quite handy. We have also got another port on this side. And opening that reveals a USB port. I assume that's USB 3, at least I hope that's USB 3. And I've also got micro USB there, which I assume is for charging. So it's great to see we've got that connectivity of a full-size USB port, allowing you to plug in things such as USB sticks and other peripherals without needing some crazy adapters. We've also got volume rocker here, as well as a 3.5 mil audio jack on the top. We've got a couple of buttons, including lock and what I assume is power. And on this side, we have got a Oh no, that is the charging port. So we've actually got a charging port there. It has got a little icon on that side indicating that we've got a charging thing. We've also got two speakers along this side. We've also got this little something along here. I'm not quite sure what that does, but that might be for attaching the pen a little bit later. We've got another speaker on this side. And that port that I said was on this side actually turns out to be HDMI. I just wasn't reading the very obvious text right there. And we've got a camera in this top area. So this is designed more as a business class tablet and it's got a lot of those features that business people will like, like the direct HDMI output and also the full size USB port. But there's more stuff in the box that we'll have to check out. So let's take a look at that. So underneath this next layer, we have the keyboard dock for the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. I took the wrapping off just a little bit before. And here we have a chiclet style keyboard with fairly decent travel. Not too sure about the keyboard shape, but it should be decent enough for typing on. We have got, it's not a full size keyboard. We don't have a numpad included, but we've got those dedicated arrow keys here, dedicated print screen button and some function keys on the top. So that's pretty much what you would want from this. And of course we have a trackpad here. I believe there is an external battery. Well, it's actually internal inside this device for extending on the battery life of the tablet. The tablet comes with eight hours of battery life and I believe this should extend upon that quite a little bit. We have a single USB port on this side for when the tablet is docked. And on this side, there is a spot for holding the stylus, which should be somewhere else inside the box. We'll just quickly show you how this tablet docks onto this. So there's actually two docking modes. There is no hinge on this at all. The first docking mode simply sees it in a carrying mode, which has the tablet connected flat to this. There are no pins in this mode, so it's simply attached there for you to take around. It's a fairly chunky little device when it's connected together like this and isn't exactly the lightest, but the idea is that you simply take the tablet off like this 
and then you put the tablet into the standard docking mode like this which has no hinge so this is a simple hinged well it's a simple curved design like this there is no hinge to speak of there so you can't really adjust the angle of that display there but there is another touch base model i believe it's called the ultrabook pro model which has the keyboard dock that allows you to hinge the device in a number of ways but i believe that's a little bit more expensive so we'll take these two things out of the way and see what else is in the box so here we have the standard power cable and the proprietary charging cable um, it does use kind of an interesting yellow style thing there from lenovo but we've got all of that in there we have got an extra adapter. It's a USB 3.0 Ethernet adapter, as it is said here, so that's quite handy for business users, plugging into that USB 3.0 port that I showed you earlier. Quite a very handy thing to include in the box, and I really hope this isn't just for my press model. And we've also got here a full selection of warranty guides and whatnot, and I really hope we have got the pen in here somewhere because I believe that should come with the ThinkPad Helix. And yes, here it is, the pen was hiding. The pen was hiding in the bottom of the box, so we'll take a look at this stylus briefly. It comes with a clicky button on the top end that is red as well as a simple stylus and another sort of button halfway down the pen. So this I believe is a Wacom stylus will allow you to annotate on the tablet and draw stuff and all that and then you can store it inside the keyboard dock when you don't want to use it so that's a very handy feature there from Lenovo. I have to check out what the ThinkPad Helix is like because at the moment it seems just a little bit limited in the fact that there's no hinge on that keyboard dock that might be a little bit of a pain and it's a little bit chunky with the tablet and keyboard base but maybe with that extra more professional style keyboard dock with the hinge that will be a little bit better and there might be quite a few things the business users will like about the thinkpad helix so we'll have to definitely check that out a little bit later on so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and hands-on video for the lenovo thinkpad helix 2014 we'll have a full review up on techspot.com shortly so don't forget to check out that and there'll be a video review right here on this channel so don't forget to subscribe thanks guys and i'll catch you later